Tuesday is going to be a big night for the campaigns and for Americans. CBS News is planning on beginning election coverage Tuesday night at 7 p.m. our time. On the national level, the midterm election will determine control of both the Senate and the House. CBS This Morning and Face the Nation anchor John Dickerson will be on the team, bringing results and analysis. And a few minutes ago, we asked him what he'll be watching on election night. Well, it's the list is long, but um, I guess just geographically, well, the first thing I'll be looking for is uh, what's happening in Virginia, Pennsylvania. What can we learn from those early results that might tell us how congressional districts, and we're focused on the House at first, because how are those congressional districts going to go you know, on the East Coast, and will, they, uh, will that tell us anything about how similar districts will go as we march westward as the night progresses? Obviously, there are, there are key Senate races to watch, but the odds are much greater that the Democrats will take, uh, retake control of the House than they will that they'll retake control of the Senate. And really, those are the big questions. Who will the president's partners be for the next two years? Will it be a unified Republican government as it has been, or will there be a Democratic House or Democratic Senate, which would obviously make uh, a very different political landscape and maybe lead to gridlock or whatever it'll be. It'll be a, a quite a big change in Washington. And also then I want to take a look at the Midwest, including Wisconsin, because um, after the 2016 presidential race, there was a lot of talk about perhaps some realignment in Midwestern politics. What if it's realigning back in the old direction and, and moving back towards a more democratic, um, uh, some de more democratic victories? So what will the picture look like at the end of the night in the Midwest? Wisconsin is one of, I think, only five states where we have two women running for Senate, which is uh, something else that's interesting in the midterm this time, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and that's and that's a broader, uh, they, they, of course, that's one of the broader themes in the evening, uh, which is that there are, is a record number of women candidates. Um, so you have women voters playing a key role uh, just across the country, and then women candidates playing a key role. And then the question is, I mean, we know certainly on the Democratic side that this is very much in response to President Trump's victory. Um, and that is one of the things that is part of the reason people talk about Democratic momentum is the feeling among uh, women. I mean, when, when women feel that their voices have not been heard and that the president is, at least Democratic women feel the president is not on their side and they are so strongly feeling that that they go run for office, that's a real change in, in politics. So what is, how big will that change be at the end of the night um, in terms of replacing uh, men with women? Women, uh, in Washington, and that uh, that's not necessarily at the end of the day a, a, a party thing. It's obviously just a change in the shape of America's politics. So that'll be definitely something uh, we'll be watching closely on election night. And this is a strange midterm election. Usually this is state and local, but this has turned into almost a national election. Oh, absolutely. It's, an, it's a national election. Although one of the great things about Tuesday night is what's happening in the state houses. Um, and, uh, and again, the gubernatorial race in Wisconsin is uh, fascinating for any of us who've watched Scott Walker over the years. Um, and, and to think that you know, there was a time when Wisconsin was the Republican state. When you think of Paul Ryan and, and Scott Walker, um, these ascendant figures in the Republican Party. Now Paul Ryan is, is stepping down from being Speaker of the House and Scott Walker is facing a tough re-election. So um, that, is a, that is a part of the story of the evolution in the Republican Party into becoming a party that is completely Donald Trump's party now. Um, so the local elections are always fascinating too, but it is, a, it is a national election because it's Donald Trump's party and his, and his election. It's often been the case that these midterm elections are a referendum on the president. And, that, and Americans have tended through the course of our history, going back uh, to FDR, to uh, tend to vote for the party that is not in power in the White House. So we should not be surprised if Democrats have a good night uh, on Tuesday night. That's the way history has worked. Um, but in this case, you have uh, voters telling pollsters that they are basing their vote on the president more than they ever have in previous polls. So it's always been the president plays a role, but it's even more so this time. It is going to be a fascinating yes, evening, that's for sure. We'll see you Sunday on Face the Nation. Get some rest if you can, John. <laughs> we'll see you later. Thanks for joining us, John. Great to <laughs> see you.